Hello, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to tell you about my worst bag purchase of all time. Um, it's a pretty useful bag. It's a nice big shape. Um, some people have the opinion that those little micro bags shouldn't even be called bags and that they're totally useless. And yet, this is what I have trouble using. This. So I purchased this full leather Tory Burch backpack about six years ago. I had just started a, my new job, I had graduated college, I was feeling pretty good about myself, okay? And I, I had never bought anything this expensive. This was about $600 purchased in the Tory Burch store in DC. They gave me champagne, it was nuts. I had never experienced anything that decadent. Like pretty much all of my bags at that point were under a hundred bucks, they were usually from thrift shops or like the coach outlet or something like that. I, this was a massive purchase for me. In fact, this wasn't even the first one I purchased. When I went in originally, I bought the French gray color and was freaking out the entire night thinking, oh my gosh, what did I just do? I just spent, that one was a little bit more expensive. I just spent like $700 on this light colored bag. <laughs> In hindsight, that's very funny. <laughs> but, so I was freaking out. I, I went back, they were lovely, and I exchanged it for this one, which was only like maybe $50 less. The French gray color from Tory Burch is, is gorgeous. Um, it was just so much money for a lot of bag and I was terrified. Um, this, I thought, okay, it's a dark color. I use this size bag anyway. It'll probably be really useful. I, I felt good about it. And the leather is amazing. Tory Burch, I think their bags are phenomenal. I've had a couple of their boots too, their shoes, really well made in my experience. So, no complaints at all about the construction of this bag. The leather still feels good. And it has been so unloved for six years. I'll launch into why. I think I made myself use this once last year. I think I was walking to the grocery store or something and I, I wanted to put stuff in it versus like carrying a tote bag. Okay, my issue with backpacks, I have several issues. One, I feel very uncomfortable with my valuables behind me. I, I just feel very, very uncomfortable. I mean, it's not like a school backpack and um, there's no zip. I feel pretty secure about this. I'm not really worried about people going in and taking it. It's just a comfort thing. I, I just feel weird with things being behind me. Um, it's also, it is a big black pit in here, so needing to reach for my wallet, I would always put it in one of the zipper. There's a, a top zipper compartment right here. So again, I'm not really worried about someone stealing my wallet behind me, and it's pretty easy to access there. A few issues I have with this is I actually never needed this much space, or rarely. I think the most action this bag saw was taking snacks into movie theaters or something. I don't really need a bag this big. It was handy to carry like a water bottle or um, if you go into a store and you wanna take off your hat and gloves and scarf and shove it in here. But also that kind of made me uncomfortable. I felt really weird taking things in and out of this big massive backpack. I, maybe that's silly too, but I felt uncomfortable with having it behind me. It was this bottomless pit, and if I actually did need to carry a lot of stuff, it was such a pain to rifle through. Um, this pocket, I would never put anything in there, that's, that's for sure, why would I wanna do that? It was a nuisance if I had to reach for my phone. <laughs> when talking about my micro bags, I mentioned my phone is almost always in my hand. That's not a new habit, it's always been pretty much in my hand, or I wanna send a picture or a text or, whatever it is, and going in my phone, going in this to get my phone was a nuisance, so that was pretty much in my pocket, just another thing that I didn't need to put in this big, massive uh, space. My other issue with backpacks, the straps. 
Okay, so one, it was, I have it stuffed right now. Um, but unless you have this thing packed full, I should, it crumples on your back. It just wants to sit like this. I thought about having the straps shortened so that it would sit higher on my back and sit upright. Um, but unless you had this thing like weighed down and puffed out, it always wanted to sit on my back pretty much like this. It, it was annoying in so many ways. And another thing I discovered about these straps is how gross they would get from deodorant and sweat. I personally choose to wear deodorant and these straps would get disgusting. I didn't notice it out, like immediately because it's something that just kind of builds up. I'm sorry if this is making anyone cringe, <laughs> but um, yeah, I noticed just months uh, after getting it because I, I did wear it. I'll say like when it was new, I did wear it. Um, I was so excited by it. All of this, uh, all of this stuff just kind of built up over time. But a few months after wearing it, I noticed this residue, this white residue on the straps. I don't know how so many people are on Instagram looking super cute with their Louis Vuitton backpacks and those Vachetta straps deep in their armpits. I'm just gonna throw that out there because these straps got disgusting and I started to only really wear this in the fall and springtime. In the summertime, I tend to have my just arms open, <laughs> aired out, <laughs> I don't know. Um, where, where am I going with that? Oh yeah. So basically I wanted a light jacket just to buffer between my armpits and the straps. So that limited me to the fall and spring. The issue with winter is this is really annoying <laughs> over a big bulky coat. I live on like, you know, in, on the East Coast and it's, we just, I need a bulky coat <laughs> and this doesn't fit that comfortably over it. It doesn't sit nicely. It's just a pain to have to swing around. And anyway, I just really wanted to have a little ramble about this. It is a beautiful leather bag. Tory Burch makes great bags and they always go on sale so you can get them for really reasonable prices. I just don't know what to do with this. I'd love your opinions if you've ever been in this situation. I can't get really any money for it. I'm not that fussed about it. I'm a little sentimental about it since it's my most, um, you know, it was that big first, uh, big first splurge, right? <laughs> Down the handbag path. <laughs> um, so many memories. Um, but it's, so, uh, where am I going with this? I can see why it would be handy to have if we ever get to go back to movie theaters again. Um, I am someone who has to take a ball of water with me absolutely anywhere. So I like having that option. Now having a husband in tow, that means I'm carrying his water bottle too, or he'll say he doesn't want one, but he always does. And snacks, like I always have fiber bars or snack bars, whatever it is. <laughs> and. I, I can see reasons why this would be handy a couple times a year. Unfortunately, it's also just really easy to not grab and kind of forget about, which I, I don't like. I, I have given, I've donated a bunch of bags. I have uh, sold quite a few of them for like really cheap to places like Plato's Closet and Buffalo Exchange. Um, actually including a gold Tory Burch crossbody bag. I don't know what I was thinking with that, but I would love your opinion if you've ever been in this position and what you would do. I am tempted to hold on to it because I can think of those few scenarios where it would be useful. Um, I, I've lived in and out of cities and that is one of the, that's one, one time when I find it useful like walking to convenience stores, grocery stores. If I'm only getting just like a couple things, I will actually just put them in here because it's on my back versus on my shoulder in a tote. It's more comfortable to carry that weight. So that's something. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little rambly video. Maybe something to consider if you're ever getting a backpack.
I didn't realize how uncomfortable I would find it having my stuff on my back and also um, yeah, just how gross straps get. Gosh, I really hope I'm not alone and maybe I'm just disgusting um, because people have gorgeous Chanel backpacks, but I will never ever buy one because of my experience with this. Yeah, so um, I guess maybe in the long run it's actually saved me money. That's what I'm gonna tell myself, yes. Spending $700, $600 on this bag has actually now saved me money because I will uh, never ever buy a Chanel backpack. But anyway, uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on this if you've ever been in this position, but thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Ooh. Da, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. I don't really want to have to add music to this, so I'll just sing to you. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, no, I'm sorry. I'll stop now. So here, I'm just showing you the bag. I wonder if I have anything in here. I wouldn't be surprised if I have a grocery list. Why is there a grocery list in every single handbag I own?